And now let's get into the proverbial meat of the matter this election season. A big food fight has erupted after a video of the RJD's Tejasvi Yadav having fish in a helicopter went viral. Now you'd be wondering, what's the big deal in eating fish? Most of this country eats fish or non-vegetarian food. So why has it become a political point? Well, a 2023 video of Rahul Gandhi cooking mutton with Lalu has also been concurrently shared on social media, all of it part of a BJP political point. The Prime Minister has used it to hit out at the opposition bloc for what he says are hurting sentiments of the majority. Take a look and you'll understand why he said that. वो मुगल के लोगों के जमाने की जो मानसिकता है ना वो देश के लोगों को चिढ़ाना चाहते हैं प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी टारगेट्स द ओपोजिशन ओवर डाइटरी हैबिट्स आफ्टर अ वीडियो ऑफ आरजेडी लीडर तेजस्वी यादव ईटिंग फिश वेंट वायरल स्वादिष्ट मछली है एक कांटे का मछली है Prime Minister Modi also pointed fingers at India Bloc allies Rahul Gandhi and Lalu Prasad Yadav for posting video of cooking mutton in the holy month of Savan last year. He claimed the opposition leaders don't care about the sentiments of the majority community. लोगों की भावनाओं से खिलवाड़ करने में मजा आता है। ऐसे एक मुद्रिम के घर जाके सावन के महीने में मटन बनाने का मौज ले रहे हैं इतना ही नहीं उसका वीडियो बना करके देश के लोगों को चिढ़ाने का काम करते हैं मोदी विदाउट नेमिंग द टू लीडर्स कंपेयर देम विद द मुगल्स जब सब मुगल यहां आक्रमण करते थे ना तो उनको सत्ता राजा को पराजित करने से संतोष नहीं होता था जब तक मंदिर तोड़ते नहीं थे जब तक श्रद्धा स्थानों की कत्ल नहीं करते थे वैसे ही सावन के महीने में वीडियो दिखाकर वो मुगल के लोगों के जमाने की जो मानसिकता है ना उसके द्वारा वो देश के लोगों को चिढ़ाना चाहते हैं the opposition rained fire on Modi for commenting on food habits instead of focusing on issues like jobs and inflation. Artarika tweet. Navratra se koi vasta nahi. Savan ka ki upma gar rahe hain aap. Tejasvi ji to sabse yada naukri pe baat kar rahe hain Pradhan Mantri ji. Waha kyo chup hain aap? Baaj aiye naukri pe baat kariye. Samajik suraksha pe baat kariye. Purani pension pe baat kariye. A prime minister cannot dictate who is eating what in which month, and that is extremely unfortunate. There are several issues facing the country, but we have a prime minister choosing to talk about vegetarian food and non-vegetarian food during specific seasons. It's extremely regressive way of looking at how Hinduism is also what it is about. What he is spreading through his words is absolutely us versus them kind of a narrative, which doesn't suit the chair that he holds. Modi also lashed out the opposition for boycotting Ram Mandir Pran Pratishta. Ram Mandir ke jo trustee hai, wo khud Congress walo ke ghar gaye, Indi Gadbandan walo ke ghar gaye, unke purane papo ko maap kar diya, aur unho ne kaha, Ram aapke bhi hai, aap Pran Pratishta mein jurur padhariye, samman ke saath bulaya, lekin, उन्होंने इस निमंत्रण को भी ठुकरा दिया। Hitting out at the Congress, the Prime Minister compared the Grand Old Party's manifesto to that of pre-independence era Muslim League। ये इंडिया लाइन्स वाले कितनी नफरत से भरे हुए हैं, ये इनके मैनिफेस्टो में भी नजर आता है। कांग्रेस के मैनिफेस्टो में तो बटवारे की गुनहगार मुस्लिम लीग की छाप नजर आती है हिंदुत्व अपीयर्स टू बी द बीजेपी कॉलिंग कार्ड इन द लोकसभा इलेक्शन ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे
And the food fight triggered by Prime Minister Modi during his rally in Udhampur, Jammu and Kashmir has escalated. The Lalu versus Modi food fight, as we're calling it. Well, Lalu Prasad, out on bail from jail over corruption cases, has now taunted Prime Minister over his appetizer comment. Lalu has just tweeted, it took 10 years to get the appetizer. It will take 100 years to get the main course. The person will die waiting. This is Lalu's taunt at the promises and guarantees given by Prime Minister Modi and the BJP. Second, when poverty, inflation and unemployment are at record-breaking levels in their appetizers, then what will be in the plate? Just imagine and hit with your vote is what Lalu says. Lalu, remember, is a corruption convict who's out from jail on bail, uh, a person who has presided over one of the most uh, backward states of the country, Bihar, but uh, clearly, social media wars before elections mean that even a convict out on bail on so-called health grounds has the muscle and the flex to hit right back at the Prime Minister. Why not? That's what democracy is all about.